Hi guys, I thought I'd bring you along for my June update of how my garden's doing. And it's not doing too bad. These are the Brussels sprouts. I did put some basil in between there, um, hoping just to deter some bugs. These are cucumbers. They kind of look very bright yellow, not yellow, but green. Not sure what's going on with those. I purchased those from a local um, uh, nursery or whatever you call them. And that's what they look like when I got them. So I don't know. Maybe they'll get a little darker as time goes on. I also put cucumber seeds in here, but none of them came up. So I had some leftover onions that were, I thought, maybe dead. I figured let me give it a try and stick them in here. And it looks like these onions are coming to life. And these are bulbing onions. So we'll see what happens with that. This is just an experiment. So let me move you on to my new area, my resurrection, my bed of my resurrected bed. So this is my old bed, um, which was root bound and oh my goodness. I find, I'm finally giving it a try. I threw some dirt in there. Let's see what comes of it. So these are, this is my asparagus. And again, I won't see anything for a couple years, but if I can keep it alive, at least through the winter, I'll be happy. I did a little watermelon here on the edge. And then I have my cauliflower. I have four heads of cauliflower along this side right here. And... Oh, what did I put there? So these are my gherkins um, that I picked up. I wanted to give those a try. So we're gonna move on. I still have a big mess. I moved everything out of here and it's in that other part of the bed. I still need to clean that all up. Um, I did get rid of all the wood here. I burned it in, that, in my fire pit back there. So while I was doing shrubs, I added whatever I could scrape up from here. So now this just needs to be cleaned up. So that's my life. So here's the ugly. We got the good, the bad, and the ugly here. We'll go with the ugly. This was the experiment trying to prove a point to somebody why I don't use and plant store-bought garlic. And this is why. That's store-bought. And that right here is my garlic from last year that I grew. I saved a couple of heads. So this is my garlic. And this is the store-bought. So this looks pitiful. All the Italian flat beans that I planted never came up. And I think reason being is because it couldn't get through um, I, I threw a bunch of the coop manure in here la uh, last fall. I didn't give it really time to break down, so it hardened up in here. And I think that's why they never popped up. So this is the ugly right here. Nothing ever came of it. But I've got all my zucchini squash, my yellow squash, and I think I got eight balls in here as well. Not sure which is which. I'll find out once they develop. Hopefully they'll make it. Hopefully this year I'll get a, a squash before um, either squash bugs or vine borers get to it. I'm hoping they don't. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm what I'm going to put in there, trying to deter. I don't know. I'm just keeping an eye on this. Checking the leaves. Checking the vines or the stems. Just looking for any sign of anything starting so we'll see these are my green beans these are phenomenal they're already developing some blossoms on here oh there we go right there i've got some right here so i think this is gonna be a really nice bean season for me this year and of course back here is my sorrel i'm letting it go to seed um, I'm not going to do anything with it this year. I still have sorrel soup on the shelves. 
and my green onion that's flowering. So we'll say hi to the chickens before we move on to the next bed. Girls, hello. Hi. Okay. They're just doing their thing. They're doing their chicken thing. It was funny to watch earlier, the red one, Miss Red, she winged another one, like an elbow, but with the wing, pushing it away from whatever she had. That was pretty cute to watch. I wish I grabbed that on video. Um, let's, I'm gonna bring you to the next bed. Oh, there's my basil and my little piggy. I threw some seeds in there, so those are coming up. My thyme is all flowered. That's beautiful. So here's uh, some new additions. I've got strawberry plants. Got some regular flowers. Just a little something that makes me happy. Probably looks corny to everybody else, but I love it. <laughs> so here's my bush cucumbers right here my cherry tomatoes they're doing pretty well I even have some cherry uh, some tomatoes already on here shockingly um, I don't know if you can see that I think you might be able to so these are developing very nicely but I feel these kind of slow going these are the big boy and celebrities I would think they would be much bigger well, who knows? Maybe the fertilizer, maybe, I don't know. Maybe the fertilizer I threw in here with the next rainfall will give it some nutrition to boost its growth. I don't know. So I did pick up some broccoli. Um, mine, my cabbages never came up. And, and most of my broccoli never came up. Only two came up. So these are the two. So I picked up this one and that one. And I picked up these four and they were sad to begin with. They've actually perked up a bit, but they looked like half a dead when I picked those up. But I'm trying to, I did put some um, seeds down for bok choy cabbage. And then mistakenly, I did a whole thing of I dumped a bunch of seeds. Turns out those seeds were heads of cabbage. So let's see what happens. I may be doing a lot of transplanting uh, at some point. We'll see. So these onions are thriving. These are doing really good for uh, bulbing onions. So I, they need a haircut. Uh, so I'll give them a haircut. Chop up uh, what I cut off. We'll chop it up and put it in the freezer. I'll bring you along for that. And my carrots not too great I mean they're not all of them came up I don't know what happened some did but I'm just gonna leave this alone and just come you know late summer I'll do a fall I'll do this again for the fall and see what happens for the fall so I had this on there to keep uh, Toby from turning this into a litter box. Once the greenery comes up, he leaves the boxes alone. So this is my June update. I live in a college area, so you can hear all the colleges, you know, they're having a party, I guess. Um, you can hear them in the background. But, all right. So this is my June update. Are my new beds? I have one bed here that I just put up, don't have anything in it, not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. And I have another one to put together and put up, and that's gonna go over there. So there'll be three over there. And hi, Mikey, there'll be three over there, and five over here will be total. So, thanks again for joining me at Bobchi's Quarter, not my kitchen, but my garden. And I hope to see you soon. Until next time.